Hi everyone, today we're going to be talking about the um, wire management for the spike robot. So the first step that we want to do is manage these two wires on the bottom of the robot and bring them to the front. So to do that, we're going to flip the color sensor over like that. So then there's an open area here and you're going to first take your color sensor wire and feed that through and as you rotate this, you should see the wire poking out. I'm just gonna pull that. And then you're gonna do the same with the other one, just feed it through and have both of them come out on the top. Now we also want to adjust where the wires are so that they're not in the way of the purple block and let them sit nicely. So take an axle and just try to move the wires around. So I'm gonna try to do this like this. So feed it so that it's under the yellow and not the pink slash purple. You see that? So you see how it's under the yellow? This one is still in the way, you see? So we're gonna move that one now. And now that it's down, I'm just gonna pull and push more so that when you look at it, the wires are by the yellow and not by the pink. And on this side, it's the same thing. All right, the next step that we're going to be talking about is step 40. So for step 40, we are going to be using this piece. And the goal is to make sure that the bar is above all of the wires. So grab those wires underneath so they're out of your way. And the blue pegs should be going into the purple here. So just line it up. And push it in like that. All right, now we're gonna be going through the wiring guide. So to do this, you're gonna take um, this black piece off and make sure that the bottom peg is still there because we're gonna use that. And if you accidentally took off the peg like I did, just make sure it goes in the second hole. So make sure that's still there because we're gonna use that. Um, the first one we're gonna take is the color sensor motor. So or wire, sorry, so that's this one. And we're going to feed it through. So if you look here, oh, we're also gonna flip the blue over. See, there's like a nice divot in here to be able to push your wires. So taking that first wire, you're gonna go across, go underneath the black peg, you see that underneath, and then push the white wire as far down as you can. And then we're gonna start layering it. So you're gonna go like this, zigzag, see that very well so that the wires are all in that divot that we had and once you run out of wire you can plug this into motor C because that is where the color sensor goes and once it's in and you have all your layers nice and flat you're gonna twist the blue Piece, and that blue piece is basically what's going to stop the wire from completely coming undone. So make sure that it's in. You can even use like an axle to hold it down nice and firmly while you twist it. Alright, so that's in pretty well. You can see the folds there and how they're completely underneath the blue. So hopefully they will come out. Next one we're going to take is the right motor or the left motor, depending on what side you are. We're going to go underneath the peg again. And then for this one, we want to have nice and big folds. So as you can see, I'm going all the way from here to here. So big folds underneath the peg. And the last fold that you do, you want to make sure that when it plugs in, there is just enough wire to plug in. Do you see how there's nothing extra? It's just the right amount. So that's gonna go into A, 
plug that in. And now we're gonna put this T piece back on to make sure that everything underneath the black is holding down the white wire. You can see that. So push it in nice and snug. And now all your wires should be held down in one way or the other. I'm gonna 